come with me on my biggest mileage week yet. And if you're new here, my name is Daniel. I happen to be in a relationship with a professional marathon runner and through making content with her, I have been converted to the dark side of the running world. I'm a complete beginner, a complete novice. I know very little about it and I'm bringing you along on my journey. Something that I only learned last week and it might be because it was raining and I was wearing two layers, but for the first time ever, I experienced the agonizing pain that is nipple chafe. So I've learned the lesson. I am anti-chafing these bad boys every run now. I do not want to experience that again. I completely forgot. It's bank holiday Monday. Do any of my uh, self-employed viewers just forget about bank holidays? It just doesn't mean anything to me. It's not like I'm getting paid for it. So parks are super busy, the pubs were spilling out, and the sun has decided to grace us in Manchester. So super busy. But anyway, easy 35 this morning. Normally it's 30, but I've been given the extra five minutes to keep ramping up that mileage a bit because unfortunately at this point my little camera has a bit of an aneurysm and decides to overexpose all of my footage but what i was saying is that when i hit 5k subs i'm going to put myself in for a half marathon so if you want to follow along with that torture hit the subscribe button just got back from my easy run i've just got a new watch it's a hand me down from philly it's a coros pace 2 but I haven't properly set it up, so it was in Ks, and I had no idea how fast I was running, and I ran it way too quickly for an easy Monday, so great start to the week. I want to keep it real today. I really just didn't want to get out today. I just didn't want to run. I was just kind of sitting in bed in my kit, just being like, oh, I don't feel like it today. And also, I'm just keeping it really, really slow today because I had session, long run, and then the run on Monday, which I didn't know <laughs> what speed I was running and I ended up doing it as more of a steady run. So just trying to keep this one really, really easy. But the hills don't make it easy. <laughs> Yeah, glad I took that one slow. I really needed that. I've obviously come off quite a few hard days recently, especially as this is my biggest week on paper. I just want to make sure that my easy days are easy and my hard days are hard and I didn't start off with the right foot. Someone on one of my recent videos asked what my physio exercises are. So I don't know what half of these are called, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna show you and maybe explain what they are, but two of the three, I have no idea what they're called. So if you know, put it in the comments below. This is the one that I know the name. It is calf raises. Now I do this with a weight because I've been doing it for a while now. It's one of those core exercises I've been doing literally from the first time I got a niggle. So I do this weighted and I do three sets of about 15 to 20 reps per leg. Now moving on to the ones that I don't know the names of. This is a lying down glute sideways bridge thing. My physio believes that my left glute doesn't fire in the same way that my right glute does. So this is just to strengthen the glute muscle. I do between 12 to 14 reps and then I do two to three sets. And then finally, this is to strengthen my feet but also works the glutes. I put a resistance band under the sofa and then pulse my foot back. I then switch in every single direction, so forwards, right, left, backwards. And what this does, it helps the balancing muscles on, on the foot that isn't pulsing, but then the leg that is pulsing, that also works the glute. So there you are, very simple, only three exercises at the moment. Potentially, I am looking to add a proper strength workout to my week to help with just everything. We have got some busy weeks coming up, so once we get back from Copenhagen, that is um, a priority of mine to try not only get in my physio exercises, but include a proper strength routine maybe once maybe twice a week Alrighty. i thought what's better than me explaining my training but my coach explaining my training you're supposed to like appear when i click and then 
It's Philly. If, if you didn't know, I mean, I'm almost certain everybody on this channel knows, but Philly is not only an elite marathon runner, but she's also a coach. She coaches um, a wide range of athletes, including this guy. Freeloader. Freeloader, yeah, for so free. free. Well, I mean, well, you do cook all my meals, so. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Philly's gonna take me through my training for this week. My biggest week of training yet. And while she's here, I'm gonna ask her a couple of questions afterwards as well. So. Take us through, take us through my training. So last week, mm -hmm. have you still not synced your watch to Training Peaks? I was gonna give everyone the total of like, what did you do on Sunday last week? I did, I can get it up on Strava. I did 19 point, did 19.69. Wait, wait. Um, so yeah, your your Strava graph is a nice, stop peeking, your Strava graph is a nice progression. Five miles, six miles, this is weekly. Yeah. Nine, 12, 12, 15, 16, 19, 19, mm -hmm. 0.69. This week, we are going to be doing 21. 21, two whole millions more. 20, so it's it's roughly 10%, it's, mm -hmm. not, it's not much more than 10%, that's a good rule of thumb for increasing your mileage. And because, stop peeking, and because both your, well actually your Monday run was five minutes longer, but because your session is a little bit longer, mm -hmm. and your long run is 10 minutes longer, yeah. 70 minutes this week. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to bring you down the following week. Okay. And I talk to my athletes about this all the time. Periodization. Making sure that you've got weeks that get harder and then you have an easy week. So it kind of, you're going up like this and then coming down and then going up and coming down. So Nice. Uh, and why, why do we do periodization? Because, well you can't increase week on week indefinitely mm. because you'll just be carrying that fatigue the whole time. Yeah. So the idea of the easy week is to recover, to then be ready for the next block of however many weeks. And when you're training towards a specific goal as well, it means that you can kind of bank that recovery and try and map things out so that you peak at the right time, basically. Nice. So you did 35 on Monday. Yep. 40 today mm -hmm. and strides. Forgot the strides. Fine, we will omit strides from the plan unless you want to go out and do them now. I'm, I'm good. I, would, I, I wouldn't advise that. Friday, mm. seeing as you did a 15 minute warm up last week and a 23 minute cool down, um, you're now doing 15 minutes warm up and cool down as standard. Nice. Say goodbye to 10 minutes. Your session, mm -hmm. last week you did 20 minutes volume of reps. This week you're doing 23. Ooh, okay. Um, so you've got fart luck. Six minutes, five minutes, four minutes, three minutes, two minutes, one minute, four times 30 seconds. So the idea is to get faster through the reps from the six to the five to the four to the three to the two to the one. Mm -hmm. And you've got 90 seconds between everything. Why 90 seconds? Because normally I would have a little bit longer for the longer reps. Mm -hmm. and Why? Because sure sure the classic fart luck. Right. So it's speed play. But because the six minutes should be a little bit slower and more comfortable, you're basically pitching it at the pace where 90 seconds is enough. So don't go and blitz the first rep, basically. Right. And by the time you get to the two and the one, 90 seconds is actually really generous. Cool. So, and then you've got two minutes after, two minutes jog, so once you finish the one, you've got oh, okay. two minutes. Nice. Then you start the four times 30 seconds sprints off 45 seconds recovery. Nice. I like sprints. Sprints are fun. And that's it. And then on Sunday, you've got a 70 minute easy run. Nice. So that's going to be my longest week ever. I've got a few questions that I thought might be helpful for me, but also other beginners out there. This might be a very specific one to me, but why do you train me in minutes, whereas you train in distance? You can do it in minutes at any level, but when I first start out with people, that aren't so tuned in on paces, mm. minutes is easier, and it's much easier to manage the volume that you're doing then. So for example, as you get fitter, when I set you a easy one hour run, in three months time, you'll be covering more distance yeah. in that time. Mm -hmm. And we may shift to miles or kilometers then. I hear about the 80-20 rule quite a lot. Mm. You talk about it quite a lot. Yes. But I don't, I feel like it's almost the opposite sometimes, especially for me as like a relative <laughs> beginner. I feel like I'm even on my 
easy runs sometimes they feel reasonably hard is that just i mean your heart rate is higher on your some of your easy runs than i would like it to be it's kind of on you when i give you an easy run you need to take it easy and if that means that you're going like what feels like ridiculously slow yeah then you need to do that uh -huh. it's also on me i should tell you to slow down Please. but in the nicest possible way probably because you're not very fit mm -hmm. and you're building fitness. I can see that already in the data um, over time and your heart rate in the bigger picture is trending downwards for effort. One last thing, what tip would you give for a beginner runner like myself? Can I give more than one? Yeah. Okay, number one, it's not really a tip. <laughs> It's just a statement and that is you will not always be motivated. I feel like people who just start up or come into it think that you have to be motivated all the time, but you don't. You have to be disciplined all the time because you're not always going to be motivated to get out the door. I felt like that. You have to do it. Today, for the first time in a while, like I've gone like, oh, I just didn't want to get out the door today. I just mm. couldn't be bothered. The other thing I would say, and again, it's motivation wise, is if you're really excited to get started, just pace yourself. Literally, in terms of your runs, taking it easy when you first get started, but also don't put all of your enthusiasm into the first two weeks and then be body bagged after that or have lost all your motivation because you're so tired. I can relate to that. Like, it's a slow and steady. We're channeling the tortoise energy here. That's, <laughs> yeah, I would say that. Cool. Thanks, coach. Oh, actually. <sighs> Fuck's sake. Happy Friday, session day. Ooh, I'm excited. The sun's out, it's the morning, back to my normal routine. It's not raining, hopefully. Fingers crossed, this is just gonna be a good one, getting it done. I spoke about most of it with Philly the other day. Quick reminder, it is six, five, four, three, two, one, with 90 seconds recovery. Biggest session yet, let's get it. done 15 minutes so that extra three four minutes worth of warm-up slowly like little bits here and there adding to that mileage rather than one big 16 mile long run or something like that okay right, six minutes done not gonna lie i'm using my new watch which is the pace too it's like completely all over the place either i'm just not there with the paces or it's really off it's kind of off putting because one screen tells me i'm running at this pace, and then another one says I'm running at another pace. It's kind of frustrating, but anyway, let's get to feel rather than pace, I think. But yeah, all right, five minutes coming up. Oh, I'm really working today. It feels really hard in a kind of good way, but about halfway down, so turn around in a sec. Right, just finished the six, five, four, three, two, one. I've got two minutes rest, and then we are into the 4 by 30 Oh, oh, that was, oh, so painful. Let me catch my breath. I think I went to the well there. That was pretty much what I had. I'm not sure I could go much further than that. I've only ever thrown up once during exercise when I used to be a swimmer. That was pretty close to throwing up just then. Pushed hard. All right, let's keep moving before my legs seize up. We'll do it. 15 minute of cool down and then we can look at the splits. I survived. Oh, I felt absolutely drained though. That felt very, very difficult. But glad I got it done, staying positive. Now, let's have a quick look at the splits that we had going on. Average heart rate was high, 178, which is good. It means we're working. So we had the six minute was in at 814 minute miling. The five was 758 minute miling. The four minute was 740. The three minute was 7.19, the two minute was 7.16, and the one minute was 6.49 minute miling. And then the four by 30s were 5.51, 6.02, 5.52, and 5.40. So I was shifting at the end there. But although I did what the session was meant to, I came down. I wanted to be a little bit faster for the six minute rep. I wanted that to be almost bang on eight minutes. And I kind of wanted the three and the two minutes, the three, two, ones to be all sub seven, because that is 5K pace. 
So I was close, but I didn't I didn't get there exactly. But it doesn't matter. It's been a big week and I've had I've come off a couple of quite big weeks for me as a beginner, but I'm on track for it to be the biggest week yet. I am on 14 miles for the week already. I've got a 70 minute long run, so anywhere between six and seven miles there, which would put me 20 to 21 miles for the week, which would be a massive two mile PB. So I'm happy with that. So sat down after a long day yesterday, had the session, lots of editing work to get done. I was knackered. I was happy that I got the session done. And then disaster struck. Me and Philly sat on the sofa and I felt like my tummy wasn't very settled. Turns out I had the shits. So from about eight o'clock last night till just before we went to bed, I was pretty much sat on the toilet on and off for a few hours, which was lovely. Not really sure what it was. Philly said that she was feeling a little bit sensitive, but nowhere near the, the same as me. We had sushi the night before, so that could be it. But yeah, very strange. And night of rest, I did a little lie in this morning just to make sure, but I feel fine now. So just a really small bout of the shits. No wonder I was feeling a bit rough on the, in the session if I was uh, coming down with something, but I'm all good. Thought I'd just check in, <laughs> let you guys know. <gasps> or is that oversharing? I don't know. It is Mo Farah's last race. It's a bit sad, isn't it? What a legend. Anyway, 70 minutes on deck today. Biggest long run. I think the biggest run I've ever done, which is really cool. Like, I think reflecting on this week and reflecting on kind of the last couple of weeks that have been the biggest weeks ever, I look back at kind of where I've come from, not only just at the beginning of this, coming back from this little niggle and starting this channel, but also way back when I wasn't running and to see myself now, how dedicated I've been. When I mentioned about my relationship with exercise, I really struggled to keep exercising. I'd do it for a couple of weeks, a month, would always fall off for some reason. But to be able to kind of say that I've kept this going and I'm creating a routine out of it, I don't know, it feels kind of special to me. But anyway, enough of that, let's go for the long run. Got a splinter in my shoe. Mm, let's get back to it. All right, mile one done, feeling good. Easing into it today. Just trying to keep the good old heart rate nice and down. Nice little pee stop. Back to it. Mile two. Still feeling good. Just chugging along. Mile three. Just really trying to make sure that I'm not going anywhere near the orange or red, staying in the green or blues on the watch. Yeah, a couple more minutes and then we turn around. Four. Mile five, probably got about 70 and a half minutes left. Just hit the hour mark. Pretty much anything past this point is new territory. I have never run this far ever, I think, even in one day. I have to double check that, but the longest I've ever gone for, so yeah, it's cool. Mile six, toughest mile so far. Um, in the middle of there was, I don't know, hit a wall, a small wall. I'm out of it now, which is good. And uh, yeah, we've got six more minutes to go. 70 minutes. A bit long by the end. I think that's just a case of it being quite a big week. There you have it. Biggest week ever. Oh, to look back at myself even a year ago and think that I would be running this mileage. And it's, it's nothing. It's a very small amount of mileage in the big scheme of things. I'm definitely still a beginner, but it, I'm just really, not very humble of me, but I, I'm just really proud of where, how far I've come from literally not being able to do two weeks of exercise without giving up. I'm now months into running. I know I had that niggle and I've only been back for six or so weeks, but it's just really nice to see how far I've come. And I wanna thank you guys as well, because I think you are one of the biggest reasons why I, I'm keeping doing this. And just the real, really kind words. It's giving me the motivation to carry on, even through those days where it's just so difficult. But before I go, let's have a look at exactly what mileage we managed to get up to. How big was my biggest week? It is up at 20.88. So that is 
only a whole mile more than last week, but still it is the biggest week I've ever done. My graph is looking fantastic. Look at that progression graph. That's pretty cool. Next week, as Fiddy mentioned, I'll come down a little bit, take a little bit of a rest. Then we're off to Copenhagen. I'll take you behind the scenes of Philly's race, what I do when I'm running around the city trying to film. And then after that, so in three weeks time, it's park run time. I'm aiming to beat my 5K PB, but we'll see. I'm gonna be paced by quite a fast pacer. Thanks again for all the love. Keep commenting about your own running journeys. I love to hear the stories from everyone. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next week. Bye.